Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler. And this is your Libra reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it. Whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing because spirit will always show up with exactly what you need to hear just at the right time. Okay, so we're going to start with the Lightseer Tarot. For the extended reading, we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot deck. The link for the extended is below. Let's have a look and see what we need to know. And this, what you keep seeing in the screen is Tinkerbell and Gypsy fighting. We'll just ignore them. They haven't got an off button today. So... Libra. What you need to know. Nine of Pentacles. So everything is within reach. What you are, what you have been hoping for, what you have been dreaming of, it's there, it's within reach, it's there at your fingertips. And I feel like that is something which you really need to truly believe because you've had a tough time where you've thought things are happening, thought things are coming into play and then things haven't, they've sort of vanished. It's not happened, it's gone wrong. And so it's understandable to be questioning if things are going to change, if things are going to get better. But they're there. They're waiting for you. All you need to do is grab them. Okay. And believe it. Which is the most important thing and sometimes one of the hardest things. Then we've got the Ace of Swords, which is not surprising. The Swords is about letting go. And the Ace of Swords is letting go of that overthinking mind. And that is a bit of your mindset here because you can be thinking you want something and then, oh, but what if it doesn't happen? And why would it happen? And if this happens, it won't happen and blah, 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 blah. And you go round and round and round and round in circles. I suppose you fight with yourself like the dogs are fighting. Um, and give yourself a pressure headache. It's exhausting. It feels like you're. it's exhausting. And you need to sort of pull that energy back, breathe, trust, look after yourself, knowing that it's coming, knowing that all you want is coming. Then we've got the Queen of Cups, which is surrendering. So another confirmation that you're needing to be pulling back, okay? Pulling back, allowing and accepting. Don't be trying so hard. Don't be pushing so hard. Sometimes when we're pushing too much, it can be almost like pushing things away. Um, and it's hard when you're wanting something not to be trying so hard. But it's important. It's necessary. It's... It's crucial, shall we say, that that's what you learn to do because you're needing to let go of old ways of being, old ways of doing. OK, then we've got the Queen of Swords. So more letting go. It's a major letting go, a major release going on at the moment. So it is hard work. It's hard going. And the Queen of Swords is letting go, looking forwards. OK. She is at the top of a mountain. If you look, we're, we're in line with these tops of the mountains. So she's she's done her hard work. She's got there. She's leaving the past behind. It's this last transitional letting go. Okay. And it can be one of the hardest things to do. It can be one of the most...
difficult things to do to release, let go and allow through this transition. Allow the change to happen. Allow the good in because you've got used to the not so good. It's difficult. It's hard. Spirit are tickling me, my hair and my head and my face. But you have got spirit supporting you. You're not doing it on your own. And it's very much... The calm, the pulling the energy back as you're moving through this transition, which is going to help you fully let go. Try not to hold on to the past. The past is the past. The past is behind you. And then we've got the Hierophant card. And the Hierophant is very much in the moment, pulled back, enjoying being in the moment. And that is something you need to learn to do. Being in the moment, learning, trusting, knowing that the future is coming, but not living in it, making yourself anxious, whizzing your, winding that busy head of yours up. It's letting go, pulling back, allowing to happen. Okay. Because balance, give and take of the universe, of people around you, needs to be better um instead of you giving all there needs to be some in return there needs to be a better balance and in the past that hasn't been so you've give everything to just keep things smooth as possible and then we've got the chariot card and this is Building momentum, moving forward, things changing. You're going to go from this stuck, stagnant energy to fast moving. Okay. I would say there's somebody beside you because we're not alone here. Um, Somebody's joining you in this momentum. And that is okay. It's safe to let them. It's safe to allow them in. Okay. Just trust. As hard as it is. It's so, so important and make sure you're looking after you. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to find out more information and clarification around this situation and anything else we need to know what's coming. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. I'm truly grateful to be able to support you on your journey. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye.